What's up everyone? This is Seth with PageMaker and today I'm going to show you how to add a text marquee to your website or landing page. Text marquees are super popular right now thanks to platforms like Webflow. We're starting to see them more and more on different e-commerce websites and that's because they're on trend, they're interactive and they're a great space of real estate to advertise uh, something like free shipping or getting a free product. So they definitely increase conversions when used correctly. Adding a text marquee onto PageMaker is super simple. If you do it in less than one minute, all you have to do is copy and paste in two different things. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you have to be inside the builder. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is add an announcement bar. You could add this announcement bar anywhere you want. The text marquee will work in the middle of the page, at the end of the page, but for this demo, I'm gonna add it to the top of the page. That's where they're more common. So I'm gonna to go to the announcement section and I'm gonna add this text marquee. Now, I wanna put in a special message. So I'm gonna put in, I love PageMaker. If you're asking, why are there so many lines that's how you control how quickly and how smooth and continuously it runs. This is an infinite loop, but the more uh, you add, uh, the better you can control the speed and you'll be able to see that in a moment. So I'm gonna add this right over here. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is jump onto our blog. All you have to do is go to our website. This will also be at the bottom of the YouTube video description and head over to the blog, read the instructions, it's super simple. You have to grab this snippet text dash marquee, jump back into your page maker. Now highlight the text on the announcement bar and a fail proof way to do that is when you select the layer and you select the text, it'll highlight. You don't want to select the module. You want to make sure you're selecting the text and that it's highlighted. The next thing you're going to want to do is head over to the right side panel. And under your attributes, where your CSS classes are, you're going to paste in that snippet. Perfect. Save it. Publish it. And then you're going to jump back into your CSS settings because you're now going to copy and paste in that second code. Don't worry. It's super simple. You do not know how to code. You do not need to know how to code. All you have to do is click on the copy sign here. Head over to your page maker settings. Okay, let's paste that in. That's it. It only takes a couple of seconds. And just to be sure, let's jump back into the editor. We're going to be adding this text marquee just like you see above at the top of the page. And we want it to say, I love PageMaker. So once we're back into the editor, we're going to open it up. And that's how you add a text marquee to PageMaker. It's super simple. Everything is listed for you in the blog. And if you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask. We thank you for all your support and I will be back soon with another video. Have a great day.